Hey everyone, and welcome back to Chick and Cindy's, where we talk about all things bike related. Today we're going to talk about the Schwinn Axum saddle and the nice little upgrade I got for it. We've not had the Axum for a little bit, so I wanted to bring it back out. Uh, we may have a uh, oops, sorry, skateboard deck. We may have a new uh, a new a new something coming in here pretty soon from MTB Kio. If you don't follow MTB Kio, definitely check out his channel. Very, very, very cool individual. But he gave me a pretty sweet deal on a fork upgrade for this. So I'm going from the carbon fork to something different. So hopefully that'll be up pretty soon. Uh, been a little bit since I posted the video. So I am very sorry about that. Between kids being sick, dad actually getting sick. Uh, we have some guys at Fire Academy right now. And we're short about eight guys. So we've had some pretty crazy overtime. Been working a few 48s. And I've... I've just really not had a lot of time to, to kind of get out and ride and do some stuff. And today the sun's out a little bit, so I figured it'd be the perfect day to do this. But speaking of other YouTube channels, before we do that, I got a package from the shed. Chris is an amazing individual. I pretty well told him not to send me something. He decided to send me something. Uh, I know there are tires in this. I don't know what tires, brand or anything like that. And I'm not sure what I'm doing with them yet because I need to check them out. But let's see what Chris sent me. So yeah, uh, definitely go check out The Shed. Uh, MTB Keo and The Shed, I'll have both of their YouTube channels in the description of this video. So we got some, I've actually never ridden Vittoria, but check these out. I'll do a separate video on these. So we got a, it says it's a Graphene 2.0. Lower rolling resistance, more grip, more durable. They look really nice. Almost like a, sort of like a cross country. I really like the sidewalls. It's like a gray sidewall. Very, very cool. That's a 29 by 2.35. And this is a 29 by 2.35. So, are they the same? And they are. So, huge shout out to Chris. We'll do another video on these here, ideally next week or the week, ne or the week after. So, I have to figure out what bike I'm gonna put those on. I said they look like trail tires or cross country. It literally says cross country trail. Next time I'll read the tires. <laughs> so, not a fan of this Schwinn saddle. Uh, I just don't think it's very comfortable. So I wanted to find kind of a budget friendly option and I found, which I wanted to stick with the white scheme to kind of keep going with all the white that I've been doing and I've never had a white saddle, but I found this Pro Uno S saddle. It is an Origin 8 off of Amazon. It was around $33, so not a bad price at all in my opinion. Uh, it's got a nice nice little relief channel, so that should be pretty good. Uh, nice and slim, we'll see. We'll see how she feels out on the, uh, no trail riding today sadly, just because the trails are closed. I went skateboarding today, which was pretty nice, but I'll probably just do a little bit of uh, riding around town. Maybe we can have some fun little clips of doing stuff, we'll see. There's not really a lot to ride around here, <laughs> but we'll see uh, what I can get footage wise. Let's take this bad boy off. Just one little zip tie. Amazon Prime, got it in two days, something like that, like usual, nothing nothing too crazy. But I really liked the way this white saddle looked. Uh, they have a black one and a brown one as well. So a, col a couple different color variants. It's a very nice looking saddle. Had some pretty good reviews, but I just kind of want to show it off a little bit. So let's go ahead and take this saddle off, put this saddle on, and see what happens. So that took a super weird turn. There are some uh, metal shavings on the ground. I may or may not have used this drill, but if you can tell what's different about the bike, you might win something. So put it in the comments. It's gonna be super weird if you can tell, but we'll go over what I just did in a different video on that. But that was definitely a modification that I don't recommend anybody to do. But it's done, and it can't be undone. So let's talk about the saddle now. Saddle went on no problem. So here's the uh, original Axum. You know what? I keep forgetting. Captain's Cog. That'll be in the comments too. This is the Graxum. This is the gravel Axum. This is not the actual just Axum anymore because turn it into a single speed rigid. Uh, as mentioned earlier in the video, it's not gonna be a rigid for much longer, but it's not gonna be a huge difference. But it's going to be a really cool change, I think, and I'm super stoked 
because I'm finally starting to put a little bit more money into this because this was a pretty budget upgrade. Like you could do everything you see besides this dropper post and the saddle for like $200. I mean, it was pretty insane. But uh, I finally decided to do this and I'm super excited to go ride around for a little bit. So let's strap on a GoPro and put a little bit of miles on it and then I'll come back and let you know how this $33, $32 saddle is on your dairy ear. Cause that's what's really important if you're buying a new saddle because this is in my opinion. Helmets are very important. Let's go for a bike ride. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but uh, that may or may not be the original hub sounding. <laughs> I've done a few upgrades of this. I'll have to talk about on a different video. Saddle wise, so far feels pretty good. Might be just a tad bit hard, but as of right now, I do think it feels better than the stock. Also, on a side note, the uh, the upgrade I did, or I guess more modification that I did, is so far a pretty big game changer. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to share that one or not on a different video. Side note, I do not recommend you riding in Sperry's. That was probably a bad idea on my part. <laughs> Oops. That's all right. We're just on the road messing around. See how long I can ride on this little curb for before I fall off. Not as long as I was hoping. <laughs> Should try that again. Oh man, third so tries the charm, right? I might upgrade these brakes finally. They're still the original brakes actually. <laughs> Which, they work fine. Oh, I felt really good about that one too, dang. <laughs> so now that I'm finally doing some good upgrades to this, I'm trying to think of a couple different fun things that I can do. And I'm thinking brakes will finally be upgraded because these are stock brakes. Thinking dropper remote, because that's the stock remote. Uh, maybe pedals, because they're pretty budget pedals. So maybe I'll get some new pedals. But other than that, I mean, a lot of it's pretty good for, for what I've done to it already. And like handlebars and stem and stuff, I'm really happy with all that. But I'm just trying to think of little things, so. Brakes, drop a remote, anything in the comments. Let me know if there's some other stuff going to see me potentially do to it. And we'll start doing some uh, little videos, footage of, a, of this bad boy. <laughs> One of my absolute favorite things to ride on is a brick road. I don't know if it's just because like bikes are kind of old like brick roads so it's really cool but i don't know it's a very unique feeling and it's just it's really neat i like it nice short little ride around town uh it felt a little hard at first i couldn't make up my mind and uh once i started going and kind of sitting on it, it it doesn't feel bad at all uh it is by no means a super cozy gel saddle but compared to the Schwinn stock saddle, I think it's quite a bit better. I, I definitely like it for the $33 that I paid for it. And uh, that was a fun little ride. I always forget how fun this bike is until I get on it and ride it. And then I remember how actual fun it is. So I know I was kind of talking about in the GoPro footage some potential upgrades to still do to this. So if there's anything that you would like uh, to see me do, let me know. Uh, I mentioned in the video, uh, this is a different rear wheel. Uh, I've upgraded that. The actual, <laughs> it's, <laughs> I was, yeah, I'm still not going to talk about what I did. I almost did. But, so, potential new remote, I'd like to upgrade that just to get one that's a little bit more smoother, a more smooth, definitely, maybe one with a bearing inside of it. I don't want to spend a bunch of money, though, on one, so maybe a nice budget uh, bearing that I can find on Amazon. Uh, it's just still the stock brakes, and I don't mind them. I mean, you can get them adjusted to be really nice, and that's kind of where they're at right now, but... 
hydraulics would be nice. So I might do that too, but if any of those upgrades sound like something you'd like to see or would like me to do, put them in the comments for me. But other than that, nice little video of the Schwinn Graxum because the Graxum deserves love, just like my other bikes. But thank you so much for tuning in, and until next time, everybody take care.